Let's have a brief discussion about organic molecules. Let's start with the elements in organic molecules. What are organic compounds? Organic compounds are molecules that contain carbon atoms covalently bonded to hydrogen atoms. Many organic compounds are formed from chains of covalently linked carbon atoms with hydrogen atoms attached to the chain, a hydrocarbon backbone. This means that all organic compounds have in common the presence of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. In addition, different organic compounds may contain oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and other elements. Carbon dioxide does not have hydrogen, then it is not an organic compound. Water has no carbon, then it is not an organic compound. Sodium chloride has neither carbon or, nor hydrogen, then it is not an organic compound. Generally, gases and mineral salts, organic sub inorganic substances found in soil or bodies of water are water courses, are not organic. What are the six main elements found in organic compounds? 1. Carbon 2. Hydrogen 3. Oxygen 4. Nitrogen 5. Phosphorus and 6. Sulfur What are the main organic compounds? Okay, some of it are carbohydrates, lipids, alkene, nucleic acid, aldehydes, alkyne, phospholipids, triglycerides, benzene, acetic acid, acetaldehyde, benzaldehyde, and aniline. There are four categories found in all living things. Okay, those are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. The chemical compounds of living things are known as organic compounds because of their association with organisms and because they are carbon-containing compounds. Organic compounds, which are the compounds associated with life processes, are the subject matter of organic chemistry. Okay, let's talk about your laboratory activity number one. Your activity should have looked like this, but... I ask you guys, kung may tanong kayo, just post it there. But nobody ask questions. Medyo tricky kasi yung tanong. And in some of parts of the question is missing, I guess. But nobody's questioning. Kaya at ang tanong ako kung naiintindihan ba. Kasi I've checked some of the students that passed their activity. And I haven't seen one like this. Okay? Uh, the instruction may be tricky and it, sa and it says on a short band paper, draw and color the following. Table of elements, leave the inorganic compounds black and white, then color the organic compounds as follows. Okay? Metals is blue. I said there that to color metals with blue, but... The number of metals in organic compounds are none. So there should be no blue in your chart. Okay? Halogens, red. But again, number of halogens in organic compounds are said to be none. Your activity should have looked like this. You should have colored or arranged for the six elements that have been mentioned a while ago. The only things that should be colored on your activity are hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. And those are said to be colored orange. Okay, remember, all metals are inorganic. And all organic compounds are non-metals. Okay? So, that's the end of our discussion for your activity. And for the remaining time, please have an advanced reading about comparisons of organic and inorganic compounds. And next meeting, we will have again another laboratory activity regarding that topic. Okay.